All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Raptors Daily, where I post daily Toronto Raptors content. If that's something you enjoy, enjoy this video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. We're trying to hit a thousand subscribers here by the end of July. Have a proposed trade here between uh, the Toronto Raptors and the Indiana Pacers regarding Miles Turner. Uh, this article's thought was that this can help persuade and help further pursue the Kevin Durant possibility. I don't really think KD's going to Toronto. Um, I think it's going to be, now I think it's going to be more of a wild card team or Golden State. But betting wise, statistically speaking, Toronto is number two in the Kevin Durant sweepstakes. Uh, and this is something I wouldn't be surprised if it happened at all. But I don't think that a Miles Turner trade would help further pursue Kevin Durant. I could be wrong, but I mean, Miles Turner and KD to the Raptors, even if you're giving up OG and Gary. I have a lot of worry, or I guess Siakam. I have a lot of worries if you're gonna do both a Miles Turner and a Kevin Durant trade that you're gonna have enough as it is. But at the same time, I think I might just be getting a little not paranoid, but like I mean, they got Otto back. They got they got Thaddeus back. They got Chris Boucher back. I mean, they got plenty of depth. Um, I guess plenty is the wrong word, but they have depth. A lot better depth than they did at the start of the season. I still think they need a little bit more, but that's for another day. So here's a trade. Toronto Raptors receive Miles Turner. The Pacers receive Precious Achua. Jesus Christ, dude. Ken Birch, Svi Mahalachek, Malachi Flynn, and a 2023 first-round pick, top five protected. So, you know, Turner would do a lot for this team. I think personally, if you're not going to get Kevin Durant, this isn't necessarily a trade you need to do. Um, Raptors fans, I'm a little, it, it seems like it, it's a little, I'm a little curious what people watching this video are thinking, because from what I've seen, what I've gathered, it seems to be a little bit more like 50-50 between what you think the Toronto Raptors should do, you know, whether you think they should go out and make a, make a move for a star type player like Miles Turner, or whether you need a big ass splash like a superstar like Kevin Durant. Personally, um, you know, I... I don't know if I would do this trade, but I definitely, I don't think I wouldn't do this trade. I, I'm, I'm kind of honestly somewhere in the middle. Uh, I like Precious Achua. I'm fine with them getting up Kem and Svi. Malachi, you know, I'm fine giving up Malachi. I think I'm still very hopeful for Malachi Flynn, especially being like a backup, a legitimate backup for him this upcoming season. And I'm very hopeful about Precious. You know, for me, it's that first round pick doesn't, I don't care too much because you're getting Miles Turner back and... I think this trade would be under the assumption that he re-signs with Toronto. If they, if he doesn't, then you know this is even more of a risky trade. But Precious Achua looks like he's molding into kind of almost like a star type of center. I mean, he shot 40% from downtown second half of the season last year. He had just a very, very good, very impressive, improved season from his year in Miami. Um, I, it has me thinking the world's his oyster. The thing with with miles turner is he kind of does further move the needle like precious achua is a little bit more of i don't want to say project piece but like you know you're going to win more games with miles turner than you are with with precious achua starting my whole thing is though you know i don't know if the raptors are necessarily in a rush but they're also not you know really in a position where they can just wait it out because you have siakam and freddie at this current point in the video like you still have, hopefully those two guys are still Toronto Raptors when you guys watch this video, otherwise some shit really went down. But those are like your two guys and they're 27 years old. So it's, they're in their prime. You don't want to waste time, but you technically, you know, maybe have a year or two of a gap still. Um, but the gap is, it's not closing rapidly, but it is starting now, I guess, theoretically to start slowly widening. So, you know, this trade is just super interesting to me because I, I would do it, um, but I can see all the risks. I can see everything that it poses, and you know, even if you do this, I mean, you you still have other problems. Like first off, I guess you don't have a backup big man problem. Um, you got a backup guard problem, like Delano Banton, like. I don't know, Miles Turner trades bring me so much stress because it's like, shit, dude. I know he can get you, like, three blocks a night. I know he can get you his rebounds. I know you. Can, I know he can stretch the floor. I know he can defend. I know he can do almost every. Miles Turner is perfect. Miles Turner is perfect. Um, so, yeah, I, you know what? I think I'm just honestly being a little little dork 
right now. I think I'm like being a little too, a little too passive. Miles Turner, even if you don't get Kevin Durant, that's a needle mover. That's definitely a needle mover. But man, Precious, I'm starting to get. I guess I'm starting to get this personal bond with with Precious Achua. It's gonna be one sad day if they ever trade him or he ever leaves Toronto, just because. I mean, this cat went from like one three in two years to forty percent from downtown second half of the season. So you gotta give it up to Nick Nurse and uh, that Toronto Raptors coaching staff because they know exactly what the hell they're doing, especially when it comes down to shooting. They really know what they're doing when it comes down to shooting. So that's it for today, man. I'm curious to hear what you guys have to say. Once again, the trade is Miles Turner for Precious Achua, Ken Birch, Malachi Flynn, Svi Mahalichuk and a 2023 first round pick top five protected. So let me know what you think about that trade. As always, hit the like button, hit that sub button. I'll keep you guys updated on the Toronto Raptors off season. And uh, who knows when some KD stuff might go down, but I would throw it like 25% chance that it involves the Toronto Raptors. Peace.